Hey guys, today I'm back with another video. Today I'm doing another makeup look inspired by Squishmallow. So I'm wearing brown and gold today. So today we are going to be doing a look inspired by Benny, Benny the Bigfoot. So this isn't the regular Benny the Bigfoot. He is the one with the gold flecks in his hair. So I am incorporating some gold detailing with my makeup. I'll be doing like gold eyeshadow. I had gold glitter that was for your makeup, but I cannot find it. So we're just gonna be using like a sparkly gold eyeshadow today. Also, my lip, I peeled it yesterday and it was bleeding a bit, but it was healing and then I woke up and it was like scabbed over. So um, if it starts bleeding in the middle of the video, that's why. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay, and then also just to have something to talk about, I'll be reading off some of the Squishmallow opinions that you guys sent in. I asked on my Instagram for you to give me some ideas of what to talk about for like the Squishmallow hot takes. And it's been quite a while, so I'm finally getting around to those. I thought it'd be good to have something to talk about throughout the video so you're not just sitting here watching me do mid makeup. <laughs> but yes, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so we are gonna be starting off with my concealer and if you guys watched the first one it was a brenda no it was a waverly the butterfly look i think that one turned out pretty well i'm excited to see how this one turns out because i do really love doing brown eyeshadow just because i have brown eyes and brown hair i think it looks good but i'm going in with a tarte creaseless concealer and the first one is from Tally's Mallows. And they said, I passed up Avery in the store and I don't like Gordon. <laughs> so for Avery, they're not my favorite Squishmallow. I really like the coloring on Avery, but birds in general for Squishmallows are not my favorite. I prefer ones that have like a smile. I think they just look a little bit cuter in my opinion. My sister does collect birds so if she watches this she's probably like girl what if i were to ever see the walmart like fuzzy ones in person they have an avery on that collection and that one is so cute i just love the fluffiness and i honestly think that avery is the cutest one in that collection why am i using the camera as a mirror we're gonna be using this angelica eyeshadow palette again as a mirror just because it's cute. Also, while we're at it, I'm just gonna start covering up my zits that are everywhere. And I don't wear foundation just because, well, first of all, I have creases on my forehead and I don't like how it sits in there. And so I feel like if I were put, to put one foundation everywhere but my forehead, it would look weird. So I just use concealer and this is probably not my best color match since I've had this for like years, but it'll do for now. And then they also said, I don't like Gordon. So for me, I do like Gordon. I think I liked him a lot more at the beginning when I first started getting into Squishmallows. But I do think he's one of the cuter Squishmallows. I like the one with the black tip. So I think that plain Gordon's actually a little bit more rare compared to the black tip one because they actually put the black tip one in Walgreens recently. So I think he's a little bit easier to find nowadays there's also a yellow gordon i think he's really cute too all right so from squish underscore hannah they said tamar the horse i specifically don't like her that more that much she's cute but i'm not a huge fan let me actually look up who that is is that the one with the bow oh oh it is tamar the horse i've seen tamar it's like the brown horse with purple bow i've seen her at five below and she's she's probably not my favorite either. I genuinely or I generally don't like the ones with bows. Also, I feel like the ones with bows almost feel like the bows are gonna fall off. And I don't like how they dangle, like they're a little bit loose. So I mean she's okay. I don't really like the horses either in general. <laughs> Meadow the horse. It's the purple horse with the spots. She's not my favorite. Again, I think it's because I like the ones with the smiley faces. Birds don't have it. I'm trying to look at the ones I have up on my wall. The cows don't have smiley face, so they're not my favorite, but you guys know I'll always keep Balana. She's got some special meaning to me. Okay, this powder definitely helped make my foundation or my concealer look a little less orange compared to my skin because I was, I was a little bit worried there for a second. I guess in general, like I'm coming to realize I don't like the ones without the smiley faces. And by that, I mean like the black dots and then like a smile, the little curve. Okay, the next one is from mad underscore dog 0127. 
I don't know if that's like a NCT 127 reference. I don't like the new hot pink Bigfoot, but I won't hate anyone for liking her. I love all the Bigfoots. Bigfoots are probably one of my favorite collections. Oh, like one of my favorite uh, collections. <laughs> what? I don't know. I can't think of the word to call it, but I think they are so cute and I freaking my favorite color is pink. So I love pink. I love Bigfoot. So me and the pink Bigfoot are like this. I can understand why people don't like her. I wonder if they don't like the Bigfoots in general or if they just don't like the pink color or maybe it's because the pink Bigfoot, I think it's multicolored. Don't have the pink Bigfoot, unfortunately, but I have seen pictures of her. I think her name is Haley and you can get her at Walgreens or she was at Walgreens a little bit ago. Okay, so now I'm going in with this Marc Jacobs palette. I actually got this as a gift. It's in Glambition. I'm thinking of keeping it pretty simple just because I don't want it to be too intense since it's already a dark color. I have these little wet and wild brushes. Oh wow, that is brown. Um, when you first put on an eyeshadow, it's like holy crap. But when you start putting in crease colors and uh, mascara and everything, it looks a lot better. So don't worry about it right now. Hopefully it'll come together in the end. This one is from Squish Lovers with three Zs. And they said the cows are overhyped. As I said earlier, I am personally not a huge fan of cows. I don't like that they don't have smiles. I think that the smiles make Squishmallow so much cuter. And it gives them personality because cows, they just look like regular animals. Like the cow Squishmallows look like regular animals. And I think the cutest thing about Squishmallows is that they have those little smiles. It makes them look more more cutesy. I don't know how to explain it. Even with the little squiggle line mouth like the axolotls have, I think that adds a little touch to that the ones that have regular smiles don't have. So again, it's just a personal preference. I do have to say, as a general consensus, they're not as cute as some of the other animals. So I really don't know why they're so popular. I really want to know like what makes a Squishmallow popular. Who decides that? Is there a Squishmallow council that I don't know about? So we got our brown look on. This is actually like a really nice shade of brown. And this Marc Jacobs, since it's nice quality, it is very smooth, very buttery, very pigmented. Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't put my, ooh, I didn't put my little clips in. I mean, not that it, well, actually it does kind of help my curly hair. <laughs> just kind of help to keep the hair out of my face, but it also kind of just looks cute. And I see makeup people doing this, so <laughs> we're gonna do it too. Okay, next one. Someone just said from underscore another without the R underscore universe underscore. They said cats. Uh, are they talking about cat squishmallows or just cats in general? <laughs> I do like the cat squishmallows. I think I only have one cat squishmallow and it's the black cat from Hot Topic. Which is surprising because I really like cats. Okay, this is going to be controversial. But I only like cats like in real life. I only like the cats with smashed faces. If a cat doesn't have a smashed face, I probably don't think it's cute. Okay, I have these really cute brushes that are like mermaid. Ooh, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown right here. Anytime I use dark colors, I get scared because if you mess up, it's kind of hard to go back. But we're just gonna put this right in the crease. Ooh, ooh, it's kinda, kinda hard to blend. Not bad. Okay, Princess Laura said, I don't like Malcolm. Ooh, I do like Malcolm. I really like him. I like Malcolm, especially with the heart top, but unfortunately I do not have him. When they did the Valentine's Day drop at Five Below, my sister went, she got there before they opened, but she still managed to not get anything because there was a line. I think the Five Below events have definitely died down, <gasps> definitely died down in popularity. I feel like I need some more depth because they're almost blending together, these colors. Brown is hard to work with. I thought blue is gonna be hard to work with, but this is definitely not going as planned. I can't even make it look even to that side. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ignore that and keep moving. They're coming out with a lot more variations of Malcolm or just mushrooms in general. Like they have the tie-dye one from CVS. They have the green one 
from um, Hot Topic with the leaf on it. They have the red one with the flower on it from Hot Topic. So that's cool that they're adding more. Maybe you'll have one that you'll like style-wise. I mean, not that you need to like him, but maybe you will like one eventually in the future that they put out. So Jill underscore dot death says, I don't like the Bigfoot. My fave is Willie the Wolf. Again, you guys know I'm a Squishmallow or a, a Bigfoot Squishmallow enthusiast. So I can't say I agree with that one, but Willie the Wolf is really cute. And I know everyone has their preferences. Again, it's your collection. If you like an ugly one, quote unquote ugly one, then you really shouldn't care what other people say because they're not the ones that have to look at it every day. Because I have the fairy, Maxine. I'm like looking at my eyeshadow and I don't even know where to go with this. I have the Squishmallow Maxine, the fairy, and a lot of people do not like her, but I think she is so cute. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe some powder can save this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with this True Blend CoverGirl powder again that I used to set my concealer, and we're just gonna put this here. I'm trying to figure out where I should put the gold, like to incorporate the gold flecks in his hair. I think I'm gonna put it on my eyelid and underneath here. <laughs> There's still pink on this from, what was I even doing? I don't remember the last time I used pink. So I have a gold in here. Let's see if this actually shows up on this dark brown. I'm just gonna put it in the middle right here so it's like, oh yes, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, <gasps> that is so pretty. Did you guys see? And I brought it all the way up to my brow. I really like my eye shape for makeup because I have hooded eyes. So I think going above my crease for eyeshadow works well. That is that. I think it definitely looks so much better with the gold. And again, I'm still gonna have to like blend that out. I'm gonna try to do that now. Wow, we move on to the next um, hot take. <laughs> This one is from XOX underscore Juliet, and they said that Five Below ones are not as good quality, and I definitely agree. I've also recently realized, or started noticing that the Walgreens ones are kind of depleting in quality. The main thing I've noticed in the quality for those ones is that a lot of the detail on there is printed rather than being stitched in. So I recently got, well, I guess not recently, but I got a Scarecrow Squishmallow from Five Below at one of their drops and a patch on his bottom, like the clothing patch, you know, what Scarecrows have, is printed rather than like actually stitched in, which you would think they would stitch those, but I mean, obviously I can't really complain because they are five dollars or like six dollars so they're not gonna be super high quality but i've definitely seen a decrease in quality from when they first started putting them out to when they're putting them out now for sure it is going down and not in a good way all right so i guess now is time we try to sh save this eyeshadow i think we're gonna try to use this tan shade to blend out right there because that line is harsh before and after oh yeah that looks much better okay oh and um xox underscore juliet also said i only like to have them matching colors so this is something that i really really like i've seen people a lot of people do this matching aesthetics on instagram a lot of people do it with hand squishmallows and i think it looks so so nice but for me i have no self-control because if i get one squishmallow that's not like a specific color, then I'm gonna keep getting them. So for me, I'm a completionist. So just with my K-pop collection, you guys, I always gotta bring up K-pop in each video. But just like my K-pop collection, say I got, okay, wait, how do I explain this? I collect four members across three different groups and I fully collect them. Like I need every album card that they put out. So say I added just one card of another member from a different group, I'm gonna feel really, really tempted <laughs> to keep getting more photo cards of them because I want to have more of something. Like I want a complete collection of everything that I have. I see myself doing that in Squishmallows. If I were to get, try to start a tan collection, like a tan colored collection, then I need every single tan color collection Squishmallow there is. And then if say I started that exclusively, I'm gonna start thinking, oh, if I buy one that's not tan, I'm just 
gonna go off the rails and like not want to do that anymore because then I'm gonna start wanting more colorful ones. Does that even make sense? Okay, so now we are gonna move on to bronzer. So this look, instead of using blush and bronzer, I'm just gonna go all in with bronzer. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. And I'm excited for this part because I think this will tie the look together. And he is brown, so we are going all in with this brown. Um, it looks like it's not even coming off onto the brush. I'm gonna have to compare it to the other side because a lot of the times I cannot tell if people put bronzer on. I'll be watching someone do their makeup and they're like, wow, look at how pigmented this is. And I'm like, where is it? And I think it's because bronzer is supposed to be natural looking. Like it's supposed to just give you a natural glow. But that's not what we're going for today. We are going for a brown today. I want to look like Benny. Okay, this person wants to be anonymous. They said the Yetis are some of the ugliest ones. I don't know why they're so popular. I personally like the Yetis. I think they're so cute. I want to know what your favorite ones are. Like to compare. So you don't like the Yetis, what are your favorite ones? I'm just doing a three technique. So you put it on your forehead, on your cheekbone, and on your chin. And there's really not too many Yetis out there in real life either. Are yetis mythological creatures <laughs> or do they exist? No, I think it's like the snow monster, right? Like he does not exist, like a Bigfoot. I know there's some Bigfoot conspiracy theorists out there, but I'm not too sure if I believe in Bigfoot. I'd be all on board if Bigfoot existed though, as long as I don't live near them. I don't think they'd be in Texas. They'd probably be up near Seattle or something in the north, right? Cause don't Bigfoots like colder weather? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I scrolled over and they added another one and they said Bigfoots or axolotls are bigger than Bigfoots. So I was wondering which ones they do like if they don't like the Yetis and oh, Bigfoots. So they brought in the Bigfoots to this discussion too. I'm being personally attacked. So they really like the axolotls it looks like. The axolotls are really cute. And again, they have that cute little mouth that not a lot of Squishmallows have. They have, I forget what they call them. People have a specific name for them. I'm just gonna bring this down to my neck too. We're going to full on brown. Since that's not bronze enough to my liking, we're gonna go in even more with the Mocha Fenty Beauty. You cannot see that. The contouring stick. And I'm just gonna draw this right here. I'm also gonna use this to contour my nose because this is a big girl. So yeah, they really like the axolotls, which I can see the axolotls are really, really cute. And I love anything with sparkles, as you guys know. So I love how they incorporate sparkles into the, some of the axolotls on their little antennas. I think that's what they are. And I'm gonna use this powder to blend it out because it is kind of hard to blend out, especially since I put a lot on right now. I used to hate my nose in school because you know, kids are mean. I make fun of my nose, but honestly, it was big, like I'm not gonna lie. Not that they had a right to make fun of me, but she was big. I definitely grew into my nose because when you're little, you grow into your features. Oh, but fun fact, did you know that your eyes never grow? So your eyes are the same size since birth. That's why some newborns have bug eyes because that will be the size of their eye till the day they die. Oh, that is bores. I'm seeing a lot of Bigfoot slanders. So <laughs> um, someone said Bigfoots without the eyelashes look funny. I don't know. In general, I really like Squishmallows without eyelashes. I think my favorite Squishmallow face are just the black void eyes with a regular smiley. Like that is classic. New Squish, new seasonal Squish aren't hard to find. Honestly, I can agree with that. And I think it's because not too many more or not as many people are looking for Squish in general these days. I wonder if Stores are pushing out the same amount of Squishmallows, like seasonal Squishmallows, but people just aren't buying them as much. So that could be it. I feel like it's still hard to find some of the more popular ones, like for the five below drops, you still gotta get there kind of early if you want the popular ones. But yeah, I definitely see that with the seasonal squish. They're not as hard to find, especially at Walgreens. The same person in Tally Mallows that said Bigfoot without eyelashes look funny said they're not a fan of Horus. So Horus, I believe is a Yeti. I think I have Horus up there. I guess you're in the same boat with that person above, but I do really like the Yetis. They're so cute. It's from Squishmallow or Squishmallow.mat. 
they said i can't justify paying more than retail for a squish i haven't been buying squishmallows online in a hot minute i will only buy squishmallows above retail if they're like hard to find or like really popular ones because i know i won't be able to find them in store especially other country exclusives and the thing with squishmallows like buying them online people have to upcharge quite a bit i mean not quite a bit but people do have to add shipping shipping squishmallows is not that cheap especially if they're big because they take up so much space in a package i forgot to do the underneath of my eye with the gold so we're gonna go in and do that now since it looks like i am done with my eyeshadow in general oh you know it'd be fun i can drag it out a bit to match that line oh that's cute so for my brows since they are already pretty thick i don't fill them in so i just use a clear gel to make them look a little bit more bushy this is the wet and wild boost me up brow and lash serum miska underscore chocolate princess said i'm not sure i feel like malcolm is as cute as people make him out to be but i'd still get a clip i can see where you're coming from i think a lot a lot of the ones that get so much hype i'm like how cute can they be how cute can a scuffed animal be for you to charge someone 80 dollars oh my god i just realized everyone's saying that as i'm doing a bigfoot makeup look <laughs> Tatum Cheer 11 said, I kind of like the zebra. I think the zebra is cute. Again, I don't generally like the horses because they don't have a smile, but I don't think the zebra should be getting any hate. And if you're talking about the pink one, then she should definitely not be getting hate because she's pink, which is the best color in the world. <laughs> Squish for you said, any with Squishmo's angry face. <laughs> I, or any with sequins angry face i am a person who loves glitter loves the sparkles loves sequins but i do have to agree the sequins are not my favorite on squishmallows solely because squishmallows are supposed to be like cuddly and squishy and cute and want to hug them and the sequins just make it so unenjoyable they don't look bad appreciate that they're trying to get out of the box things like that and maybe they're trying to give it that whole trend that was like the changing colors of sequins with a different direction but i don't know simply kiki 842 said i love the peacocks and again they're so pretty like i love all the colors but i just don't love the birds it's because they don't have a smile and again it's a personal preference but yeah they are really really pretty i think i'm gonna do my lashes next we got another malcolm slander in here they just said i don't like malcolm understandable from janet tilly it says exos are overrated and i hate any squish that have those weird hands holding something i know exactly what they're talking about and actually it's funny because i was at walgreens yesterday and i saw i think it was a summer axolotl with hands and i think they were holding like a snow cone or an ice cream cone so that's kind of funny that came to mind as soon as you said that because it's like two of the things you hate but yeah i'm not a huge fan of the squishmallows that are holding things either 15 minutes later so i didn't realize that the camera stopped recording and it's because i ran out of storage so i gotta make this ending quick i went ahead and just finished my makeup because i don't know how long i have to film before it cuts off again i'm really upset because i wanted this video to go well because last video the lighting was pretty bad because it was getting dark outside but i went ahead and added on lashes since i don't remember where i left off but i think the last clip that i saved is not with lashes so yes, we added on lashes. This is the eyeshadow. We got brown and gold going on. And then I did a brown lipstick. This is the Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream. I don't know what brand this is, but it's in Sexy Siren. <laughs> and then I put on, of course, my Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Lip Gloss over top so it doesn't look as harsh. And then I put my hair up in these two little brown clips and I think it turned out really well. Actually, I didn't put on highlighter. Oh my gosh, let me do that really quick. This is the final look. I only have four more confessions or like hot takes left. Someone said the cheetahs are really cute. The new pajama squad is literally so cute. Frogs <laughs> and the Heaster and the Halloween Squishmallows are the best from Carla. I think that what we learned today, everyone has their own personal taste in Squishmallows and it's okay if you don't like the popular ones or if you only like the popular ones, I think we should all just have a lot of fun with our collections and collect what we want because if you start trying to get the ones that you just want to get because 
someone else really likes them, then it doesn't really become fun. And then it's not really truly your collection, right? <laughs> but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.